And let's see what is coming up in love for you today. On the bottom of the deck, we have the devil card. First card, star. Second card, hierophant. Third card, seven of swords is the third card. Fourth card on the table. Yes. Four of Pentacles, a Capricorn is a spiritualist. They somehow, more than likely, probably it seems, been doing spells on you in secret. Why? Fame, fortune, marriages, money. It is business, possibly. Okay? It's about your energy. It's about your light. This person, they are like a pawner. They take something from someone and they trade it off to another person. So this person is saying to you, look, it's not my fault. It's business. You're going to this person telling them, I want my energy back. They're telling you they can't do nothing about that. You are really, you are really serious. You did not come here to play. This person is realizing that you're not playing about your energy. You want it back. No. This person, they may end up giving up the answer. Or end up finding a way to make a deal. <laughs> Trying to make a deal with you. Let's see if they can work something out. To get your energy back to you. You know, It's like they were telling you. Listen kid. You should have been more careful with your energy. You should have. You, you were. You, even though. Whatever happened. It was under your nose. They're saying you should have been more careful with your energy. You should have known better. Like you caught up on this later on. You caught up on the fact that someone was stealing your energy. Later on. Like after it happened. But you decided. To, I don't know why you're smart or intelligent. Because not a lot of people go after these people back for their energy. But somehow you end up finding this person. This person could be a magician of some sort or, like I said, a spiritualist. They have a shop set up, right? So you go to this person, you ask them, how much a pound for this? Not exactly. You ask them, someone could be selling gold, yeah? You ask them back for your energy. This is like Rumpelstiltskin, like you never make a deal with this person. But... This person is trying to say they're going to do you a favor. They're going to show you or like show something or see what they can do. Right? They're saying that's the best that they can do to help you. But I don't believe this person. I don't believe that they have, they've, sold, they've sold your energy already. I think they have it. I think they're holding on to it because it is special. It is quite special. Right? So I don't think they've sold it. I know that you've come after it. They're fretting. But they did not want to sweat. So you could see. They did not want to sweat in your presence. But let me tell you. That gift. That thing. That energy of yours is in their office. They have it there. It is in their presence. And when you left out of the office. They looked at it once more. This person could be a mechanic. I heard this person's name. They looked at it. They observed this, your energy, your, your thing, your talents or whatever they took. And they were considering if it is going to bring them problem, if you are going to be problem because they didn't, like they don't know what to expect of you. They don't know if you're going to be problem. So I don't know what is going to happen next. But you set out 
you listen you you sort of heard when this person said they're gonna try and see what they can do for you and they may have told you come back or they may have given you some type of a mission to go on um or they may have told you to come back another day to see what they can do no weapons formed against you shall prosper no weapons formed against me shall prosper no weapons formed shall prosper they say they're gonna see what they can do but somehow i know i don't know if you when you went there you just you got a glimpse of of your thing with your purse your property with them somehow you saw them with it they could have been adorning themselves with it but it was familiar this person could be trying to copy your style and you go and you point this out to this person and they're like no i'm not and you're like yes you are you're wearing my hair that's exactly my hairstyle that is exactly the lipstick that i wear that is exactly my hair like whatever they were trying to take from you this i'm seeing now this is myth magical i'm seeing this woman like imagine she's turning to she's getting older and older turning to stone or something you know like dusting out drying up and then she goes and she see someone else getting younger and younger and she's saying to this person what are you doing you're taking my energy and this person is like no i'm not but because there is no proof in the physical form to prove that that is what happened. This person is going to tell you, no, I'm not taking, I'm not taking your energy. No, I'm not doing beauty spells on you. No, I'm not playing with your energy. It's not here. You better go look for it somewhere else. And so it's like you saw a glimpse of them having possession of what is, what belongs to you. Either it was like, like I said, them getting younger or whatever, their hair growing taller. Either um, they had something physical of yours and you saw it hiding somewhere, or you could just sense that it was there. You could sense that it was there, the big energy. You know how you feel, you know what belongs to you, you know what your energy is. And so, guess what? the emperor i feel like this person may have sought out to speak with someone they may have sought out to start some negative tabloids upon you and they were doing it behind your back it was a type of um if it, it was a tactic they used to distract you to delay you to get you off course so that you have this thing to deal with now like clearing up your name Instead of focusing on this thing, that this huge thing that is your own, until they can get to stash it away or claim it in some way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands on the table. Yeah, I hear drum pan. I hear drum pan sound. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some type of a breaking news. And there's going to be a breaking news pending. Um, like there's going to be a part two to it. So let's say it is broadcast. People are going to be staying tuned to see what the, um, the follow up is of that story that comes out. No, this is something feeling like it is turning in your favor as you exposed someone. Something starting with a G. Hmm, many. You were exposing someone here. Maybe by you publishing something so that you, wow, you flip the script. Yes, you flip the script. What they were trying to do unto you, you end up doing it wiser, like smarter. Let's say you are the journalist. You are the, you, like, whatever you did, you are, that is your profession. Let's say you work in a library, so you ac have access to the 
a lot of information. Let's say wherever you work, whatever your natural gifts, talents, and abilities are, you're so good at it. And they were trying to use something that you were so good at against you. So it's like you got to work in that department and outdid them. You outshone someone, you know? Yeah. And so what they were trying to do to you, they had to drop the ball now to go run to catch up their name to fix their image or whatever to save something. So because of that, they end up releasing what they were holding for, holding on to for you, right? And so you end up getting yours back. Yeah, you're smart. I feel like you've always been, and you're also different. Are your outlook on life, your outlook on things, different? You're getting attention. You're gonna be standing out. For doing something major. Maybe for saving something. Right? Major. That. I don't know how you came by it. Three of swords. Someone told a lie. And. Um, you, you are. I'm getting a superhero vibration. But it just. You're like from scratch. From scratch. <laughs> it's like. It just happened where you saved something because you're a special child or you are you were it's your it's your integrity that caused you to make these moves or you like you have certain standards. I am so people are gonna be asking you why did you do this? Because I'm seeing interviews coming your way too. Maybe you just stand up for justice, maybe you just speak truth, right? So Something is being set free, like a lot of people, or something is being free now because because of you. Let's say people are saying, like you, I don't know, it's kind of strange and and out of this world. Like people are, it's incredible. Whatever you did is so incredible. It's like you. It's like let's let's let me paint this other picture. Let's say the aliens came down and you were the only one that went into the crater, and you took up the the alien vessel. And 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 something something and it, it just something developing like that. But you you were just doing something that felt real to you, something that felt right, something that felt natural. So now everyone is hearing about this on the media, on the news, right? And then everyone is inter they're they 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 they're coming to <laughs> they're coming to interview you, and they're like, "How did you do that? How did you know to do that? This little simple man done this incredible thing. That's what I'm getting." You've done something incredible, but you and you're getting a lot of attention for it. Maybe speaking out too, like saying how you feel. But it's like you're you're actually because of you just being you. And you weren't asking for the attention, or I hear rock of fame, rock of fella. But you just got it. I just that that's how I feel, and and you are humble. You're mighty. It's like I'm seeing you. You see this person standing here with their head down. This is you, but you're not sad. It's like you're reflecting. You're ref you're feeling yourself. You're feeling, you're recognizing inner self. Like, I've got some power, but you're not saying it to anyone. You're just feeling yourself. You're rec you recognizing the might of you, the shifts that you can make. Or you It's like you, you yourself didn't expect that you were this per. You were so outstanding. The way how people big you up now is like, you're like, whoa, people see this as greatness. People see this as incredible. And I was just, I'm just a little nomad. I just like doing my thing. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, you're like the, the good Samaritan or something like this. You're getting some type of a fame and recognition for being there, for standing up, for being true. And, and to you, like I said, it's nothing. It's just your everyday it's just your feeling. All right. Passerby. Yeah. I'm just seeing something huge like that is coming up for you. I don't know how long it's going to last, but there's going to be a moment like that. All right. The 12 ones. I'm feeling an ex that is eyeing you. All of this has been your love reading. It just turned out like this, right? There is an ex that is eyeing you. You're getting a lot of attention. 
someone may be feeling broken hearted and sad someone may have left another person lied cheated and stole and all kind of things defamation something about your character and everything right now someone is feeling you are feeling so much more mature also an ex of yours is looking at you with um admiration they're inspired by you and it's making them realize that you are like the man or you're the woman you're something so i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna feel like so i feel like people are i'm getting well a holiday you may go to the water side this is reminding me of a dream i need i wanted to remember dr said mention dream earlier to dreams this is reminding me of a dream I've had. I can feel the dream like I was walking barefoot and um in the bushes. Wow. Your dreams may be coming true in real life. Like work on your dreams. Like dream you're working on your dream is like an art. It's a part of your you should um see it like as a part of your art, as your craft, as you developing your natural skills and abilities. You know, you could become the dream man or <laughs> or you're someone someone is like realizing you're their dream man, their dream woman. You could become the dream woman, like for real, the woman of dreams. Alright, something like that. Work on your dreams. It's very important. You can like you you can whoa, well, you can read ball you can read like rec um energy. This is what someone wanted to take from you. Someone wanted to wanted you to just leave that part of yourself on the table and go. Like they wanted to say, leave your keys, leave your this, leave your that, empty your pockets, and just go empty. And you're like, no, I need my, I need my ish, ish you know. Mm -hmm. And so that's what you came for. You came to get your things back from someone that was telling you no. Someone that was telling you they can't help you. Someone that wanted to keep your things or get away with it. And you're like, no, you're gonna it's gonna come back around. I hear predominantly. So speak your truth. You know, share your story. You don't have to feel alone. Alright, people shouldn't take you for granted. Right? You're not that type of person. Sometimes you may feel like Oh, I get I get used, I get misused, people take me for granted, so on and so forth. You're powerful. And whatever this great thing that is happening is, that's why I'm saying a self-realization that, wow, I make moves. Yes, I'm not small. I am mighty. You're asking, you're just thinking, wow, what am I going to do next? But, yeah, I know there's someone that is thinking of calling you. Someone is missing you so very much. Right. Um, yeah, I hear property investments, but this is a love. It's like someone wants to be with you. I wanted that was the first thing I wanted to say when and before I started to pull cards with the devil card on the bottom of the deck, the star card. Someone is wanting to be with you. This person is watching you, and they're thinking of a way to make their way back to you. Yeah, they're literally thinking and planning it like to accidentally run into you or something like that or where they think they can meet up on you maybe at the airport or something someone may be thinking what can i do maybe take her take her on a trip somewhere what can i do um to be back with you all right so take it easy be mindful of your habits um with, with the devil card addictions obsessions toxicities and breakdowns <laughs> You're healing, you're in a process, you're going through a phase. You know, manage your temper, speak your truth, know yourself, breathe, connect to the Most High, have faith, ground yourself, meditate, pray. And I'll leave that here for now because sometimes we don't have to always know how things are going to end. It is where it is you having faith in who you are right now and saying, I'm being this in every other moment that is to come. That is powerful so love you take it easy out there all is well and all is within you may all be well with you